Good afternoon, good morning, good evening everybody. Noob Get Good here, back with some more Faction Wars Max Abilities Challenge Tournament style thingamajig. Yep, that was a great intro, Paul. Crack on. Um, yeah, welcome back everyone. If you're unaware of what this is, this is the first video that you've seen. What I'm basically doing is taking uh, each of the factions uh, against each other. So as you can see on the screen here, we have the Orc faction. They're all at level 80, they're all at gear 11, and they all have max abilities. Abilities. And what I do is I pit each one of these against each other tournament style. So, for instance, uh, we have Mortho who has a buy straight into the semi final. It's all done by a random draw. Details in the description. Uh, then we have Diesel Rog versus Hardock. Uh, winner of that will place Mortha for the sort of set up the first semi final. Then the second semi final will contest of the winners from Rantha versus uh, Cochrim. Ant Mar versus Trongar, and then the winners of the semi finals are going to the final. And then the winner of the final will be uh, added into the grand final against the rest of the factions uh, to find out who is the best 1v1 character with max abilities. There are no runes. If I come into Trongar here, you see no runes in there for you. Um, obviously, this is taken on my uh, test account, so shout out to developers for giving me access to the test account. Um, so obviously the gameplay is indicative from the test account and may not be what you see in the real game. And also I have sort of unlimited resources in this, uh, so that isn't sort of indicative that you can just one up your characters to this level straight away. But as I said, the first battle we're going to go against is Diesel Rock versus Hardock. I'm going to set that battle up and I'll talk more in the battle. And just to highlight the point about the test account, as you see that I have 8.8 .8 million Dracoins. Again, you're not going to have that many in the game. But more on, <laughs> less of that, more on the battle. So Dizrog is ready. Let's go into the battle. There's Bori from the uh, Pride Faction was the last video that we did. So yeah, Bori versus Revel in the final that was. And we've got Hardock, which is the dude down here. Hardock, really good character actually. Really enjoy uh, unlocking him in my main account and uh, playing. But let's get going. And uh, push battle and get it started. I can showcase uh, these things now. The screenshots when I first went through, I couldn't. But now we're in the battle. As you can see here, it's all set up. I will always take, if I remember, the fastest character so I can sit like this uh, and then push auto. It has no, you know, if I forget, it has no impact really on the game. But what I do is I don't push anything but that auto button in the bottom just to start things off and then let it play out. So let's go. He opens up with the bleed. Uh, Diesel Rock comes in. There's two bleeds. That's going to hurt him. It's about neck and neck at the moment. But there's the ability block. Still 50-50. There's the uh, the buff on himself. So, he, oh, down into yellow health. He's got his damage increase. He's down nearly dead. And Hardock has got cheat death up. It's 50-50. But with the cheat death at half health, Hardock takes out Diesel Rock and moves into the first semi-final who will face off against Mortha. Next battle is Rantha versus Cochrane. I'm going to set that battle up and I'll cut to that to you now. So Cochrane is set up. Let's just get this battle going. Got to load up Rantha, who was there. She is just there. Uh, she was the uh, the winner of the Orc faction in the last sort of level one ability one that I did. Is she still going to keep that? Cochrane obviously has his stun, his burns. But Rantha does have that summon, which she'll do for battle push straight up. Let's go. She'll do that summon. There it is. Cochrane goes straight after him, as he will do. There, oh, he's got a dodge. He's down into that already, but there's a stun. That could be the thing. But then Rantha's arrow volley. There's eight arrows in that. And that is... She was close to beating um, Corel in the final uh, before. And I think if if people don't don't take her down, she has the burst potential to take out Corel in this one, I believe. But yeah, Rantha moves into the second semi-final. She'll face the winner of Mar or Tromgar. I will set that battle up and uh, we'll get going. As always, Tromgar is ready, and the reason why I leave it on this screen first is so you can see that it is obviously um, what I said it is, a level 80, gear 11, blah, blah, blah. Some per Someone made a comment in one of my other videos on that. Um, so yeah, that's why I open up with that screen. Just showcase, you know, try and make this show as fair as possible. And why is Mar not selecting? There he is. So Mar obviously quicker than Tromgar. Tromgar can stun on his basic. Is that going to be the key? Um, for taking down Ma here. Ma obviously has quite a bit of damage output. But Tromgar has a leadership ability as well. So let's get going. He damages a little bit. There's that taunt and sort of a counter attack. Didn't really get used too much. But there is that taunt again. Is he stunning? There's the stun. Skips turn. Stun again. It's about neck and neck at the moment here. There's the, the regeneration. Down into the red for Tromgar. And half health from off. Down into red again. There's the taunt. He's down to... He needed that stun. That stun was key. 
Is he going to kill him here? No, he taunts and then counterattacks. And Ma takes out Tromgar. Was not expecting that. I was expecting Tromgar to probably chain a few more stuns. He stunned a lot. But Ma taking out Tromgar. I honestly thought Tromgar was going to win that one as it came out. But nope. Ma took that one up. Ma goes into second semi-final to take on Rantha. Before that, we have Mortha versus Hardock. The healer versus the uh, debuffer. I'll set that battle up for the play, uh, to see who gets the first spot in the final. So here, we, here, so here we have it. Oh, well done, Paul. Uh, here we have it. Morther versus Hardock first uh, semi-final. Let's get going. So we need now Hardock to come into the fray. There he is. And let's get this battle started. Really do like that Hilda picture as well, by the way. That's really nice. So, it's the uh, case of the healer versus the debuffer. Let's get going. Puts the bleed up. Mortha does have a pretty decent heal uh, and can shield recover as well, but she's been ability blocked. Cheat death is up. Mortha can also hit through protection or shield as well, but there's that heal. Strong heal back up again. But is it going to be enough? Down through and then, nope. Hard hitting hard. He had maximum health left. Uh, Mortha, yeah. Her first outing of one and done, unfortunately. So Hardock moves into the final. He will face the winner of Rantha versus Ma. That is the next battle I will cut to. Let's get that one going as soon as possible. So Ma is all set, ready to go. Let's go in. Like, thankfully for me, Rantha is right at the top of the list. Let's go in. Will Rantha move into the final to face Hardock or will Ma take a surprise uh, win? I think Ma is the underdog definitely here. Because um, it is that summon is very, very powerful. But let's go. There is that summon, but it's instantly defeated. That's good. Can Ma do the damage? There's that critical. Oh, that's good. But there's... There it is. Is it going to be? Yes. Ma takes out Rantha. Wow. Even though they had that massive volley, it wasn't enough to take out uh, the health of Ma. So there's our first surprise. There's our first previous winner gone at this semi-final stage. Rantha defeated Ma. I wasn't expecting it. I called it at the beginning. I thought Rantha would win. Ma goes into the final to take on Hardock. Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting a battle. Uh, see who goes into the grand finals. But yep, Ma progresses, faces Hardock in the final. Let's get that battle started. So the good news for me is because Ma did that, I literally could go from one battle to the other. I normally have a five minute window between battles um or so just to get just to set things up but i can get ma straight in we're going to go and get hard doc i have no idea how this one's good definitely going to go um if i'm going to swing for it i'm going to swing for um hard doc here just for the debuffs and, and whatnot but ma he hit he's hitting hard it's it's interesting so right is he going to start off with the bleed that is the question yes it is there's the bleed up and it's about neck and neck here about half shield half shield there's the ability block, which is going to be pivotal here. There's the cheat death up. So he's down into very little health left. And there it goes. Is it going to do it? Oh, Hardock. That is a slither of health left on both. All it needed to do was miss or Hardock. Uh, or Mar, sorry, just to do a little bit more damage. But yeah, whew, that was a close, close final. It was only a 10 second final. These battles are particularly short, but... Hardock takes that victory against Mar. Hardock moves into the grand final along with Corel, Wanderlua, uh, Amara and Revel. We have the demon faction up next. So leave a comment down below on which demon you think is going to progress into the grand championship finals. Is it going to be Zantara? Um, that's the obviously the winner from last time. Uh, or is it going to be an, an, another demon? Who knows? Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content and want some more. I've got some other ideas and stuff that I'm going to try and do. Um, if you don't like it or there's improvements, give it a thumbs down and leave me a comment as to what you would like to see improved. But in the meantime, I'm going to start setting up the Demon uh, Wars. Uh, in the meantime, say my name is Paul, aka Nubikit. Good. Thank you much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next Faction Wars. Probably in a couple of days time for you.